Hi you guys, it's Alyssa and I'm back with another reading. So, today's reading was also requested. Um, this is for those of you who can't seem to get a particular person out of your mind. Um, why can't I stop thinking about them? Okay, we are going to dig in a little bit and hopefully find out what is uh, binding you to this person that you can't get out of your head, okay? Um, we're going to have three options today, and our choices are three rune stones. Now, I don't actually read runes. I've had a set for several years now, and I just have never gotten around to learning how to use them. Um, I'm kind of starting to dip my toes into it now, so if I can figure them out, um, I might start incorporating them into my videos. We'll see. Okay, so I'm going to show you each of the stones up close and tell you um, what some of their associations are to help you choose. Okay, so this is our first option. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce the names of these stones, so I'm not going to try because I don't want to butcher them. <laughs> um, but this stone is associated with um, prosperity, luck, relationships, and positive connections. This is option number two. This stone is associated with wealth, opulence, and having power over one's environment. And our final option, number three, this stone is associated with change, reaping the benefits of our successes, and the endings of cycles. Okay, so those are your options. I'm going to put away my runestone cheat sheet now. <laughs> so go ahead and make your choice. And while you're doing that, I just want to show you really quickly um, this new oracle deck that I got that I'm going to be using today. This is the Moonology Oracle by Yasmin Boland. Um, I just got it a few days ago, and I love it. I'm kind of obsessed with it. it. The cards are really beautiful, and it was like an instant connection. Um, and on the bottom of the deck is New Moon in Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. So uh, new moons are about new beginnings. So um, this is just a little general message for everyone watching. Okay, so I hope you've made your choice. We are going to go ahead and get started with um, the first option. All right, my option one people, those of you who chose, if it will show you, can you see that? This stone, okay. Um, why can't you stop thinking about your person? So... Um, I'm getting a real sense of stubbornness in this situation, and I think that it is mostly coming from you, <laughs> the viewer, because for, for your energy we have the Five of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. So Two of Wands is um, a card about determination and willpower. Um, so I, I feel like you're very set on something in particular. Um, maybe set on this individual that you're asking about. Um, but we also have Five of Pentacles. So I'm also feeling like you are... Um, you're feeling abandoned, left out in the cold um, by this person, probably. So, uh, I feel like for a lot of you who chose this option, the person you're asking about has probably cut you off. Um, maybe they blocked you, maybe they've ghosted you, um, but you are, I feel like you have a lot of determination to, Maybe not necessarily to fix the situation, but to 
I feel like you want to get some kind of closure, okay? Um, as one of the binding energies between you and this other person, we have um, the Emperor card, which again, um, the Emperor is kind of a stubborn guy, so there's more of that stubborn energy. And we also have Ten of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. So, whatever happened between you and this person, um, I feel like it is, it, uh, obviously it, it hurts you a lot, and now you're just kind of left, um, kind of just looking back on it, like, just observing the aftermath of this, the, whatever situation occurred, and this ten, tens are about completion, um, but I'm getting the feeling that you're at this stage where you're, you're so close to um, getting this feeling of closure, but you can't quite get there. I, yeah, I'm really feeling a lack of closure for you. For the other person's energy, we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords, Eight of Wands in reverse. So um, I'm really feeling that like there's just a lack of movement on their part. Like they're just, I'm feeling like a really stagnant energy. Um, the Wheel of Fortune usually indicates movement, um, but sometimes the wheel can stop turning. And I feel like that's the case with this Eight of Wands being in the reverse, because upright, this card is about action. In the reverse, I feel like that action is being delayed. Okay, so there's just a very stagnant energy over here with um, this person you're asking about. For th we also have here the, um, the Three of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. So this is more binding energy between you. Um, I feel like some of you might work with this person or go to school with this person um, or, or there's just some, some reason that the two of you tend to be around each other. Um, take that, that, that's not going to apply for everybody so just take it how it uh, applies to you. Um, or I feel like you could have a lot of mutual friends with this individual, and so that's partly the reason why they are so present in your consciousness, okay? Um, I want to get a little bit more clarification for these two cards here. Why aren't two of pentacles and the three of pentacles? The Hierophant. Yeah, like I said, I feel like some of you guys go to school with this person um, or work with them or they're just part of the... They just run in the same circles that you do and so that makes it hard for you to get away from them. So they're just always kind of in the forefront of your mind because maybe you run into them a lot or you interact a lot with people who are also in contact with them, you know? So, um, I want to talk about these oracle cards really quickly that came out. Um, we have Hold Your Vision, uh, Fixed Moon. This, again, like I said, is more of that stubborn energy, okay? Because th with this card, um, This is saying that the somebody is stuck. Somebody is stuck on something, and I feel like you. I feel like it's you stuck on this person, or it could be the opposite. Um, but this feels like a very present energy, so that's why I'm inclined to say that it's the viewer's energy. Um, but either way, somebody is just in a deadlock, okay? Um, and I think it's like. Whoever it is that is stuck, they're stuck because they they want things to work out with this person, 
um, these cards here are blockages that are preventing you from moving on and getting closure from the situation. And we have the Ten of Cups and the Magician. So I, I feel like somebody is really hoping and holding, holding on to the hope that things could work out, okay? Um, that, that there could be a loving, fulfilling relationship that could, that could manifest between the two of you. Um, so that's also, you know, that's why you can't stop thinking about them because you still have this hope that uh, a better relationship can manifest. Um, and that, like I said, goes along with this. There's this, this stuck feeling. Um, and also this card, Full Moon in Taurus, your dreams need a practical plan. Um, I think that this desire for something, for the situation to improve between you and this other person is, it's just not practical right now. It's just not, this card is saying that it's just, um, it's not going to happen at this time and you need to let go of that desire, move on from it because as of right now, as of this person, this person's energy right now, um, I really don't see them being interested in reconciling or trying to fix anything with you. Um, on the bottom of this deck, as the overall energy, we have the lovers in the reverse. So, yeah, I really feel like... For a lot of you, this is an ex-partner. And... So, like, there are some feelings, like, romantic feelings, but this card being in the reverse, they, they're blocked. Um, somebody is repressing their feelings or something like that. Um, we also have the Six of Pentacles and the Tower in the reverse. So, Six of Pentacles reverse tells me that um, this connection is very one-sided, which... Yeah, I think that's kind of that kind of goes without saying here, given um, the these other cards that we have. Um, but I feel like you're still putting energy into it because you have this idea that if you if you continue to put energy into the situation, then it could improve. Um, things could change, but even if you do, even if you do continue putting your time and effort into this person, um, the, any changes that come about will, will be um, almost inconsequential. Like, any progress that is made will be so slow, slow going, that it's just not really, I don't really see it being worth your time or energy. Okay, I feel like this person needs to figure some stuff out on their own. Um, there could be a third party involved. They could be trying to figure out, like, who they want to choose, who they want to be with. I don't know. Um, but there's something going on with them that is just causing them to be very reluctant to make any kind of moves. Like, they don't want to go anywhere. They don't want to make any decisions. They just want to sit, continue to sit where they are. And I think no amount of pushing or um, communication right now is going to change that. Okay, guys? Um, I want to pull out some advice cards for you or just see if there's anything else that they want you to know. Okay, 
so here we have have faith in your dreams and a win-win forecast a win-win outcome is forecast full moon in Libra so I feel like um, in the long term like in the long long term you and this person there's a lot of potential for you to repair the your relationship um, but in the short term I feel like you definitely um, should make efforts to move on from them okay I'm going to see if there's anything else that wants to come out for you opportunity there are more opportunities out there for you in the meantime okay there's a lot of opportunities out there for you to um, have new experiences with, with other people and learn some things and then maybe in the future a few years down the line when possibly the two of you come back together you will have that knowledge you know um, that will help to make the relationship more um, viable okay in the future I definitely feel like your feelings for this person are valid and um, I don't think that you're delusional in wanting to get back with them or whatever the case may be um, because there is a lot of potential for that to happen um, down the road but yeah in the meantime I think um, you should be uh, making efforts to move on for now Centering. Somehow I knew that card was going to come out. How did I know that? Um, you should work on centering, um, meditation, um, grounding yourself, okay? Connecting with the earth, um, connecting with nature, um, I feel like will help you to realign your energy and um, clear, clear it of this person's energy um, which will help you to um, not think about them quite so much okay so that is your reading those of you who chose option one um, that is why you can't stop thinking about your person there is a, a solid connection here but it's just um, whoa right now is just not a good time for the two of you to be together so yeah okay um i hope you enjoyed the reading if it resonated with you please let me know i love to hear from you guys um and i hope i see you next time and now we're going to move on to option number two hi you guys those of you who chose option two which was this stone why can't you stop thinking about your person what is going on why are you unable to release their energy why are they always in your mind okay so on the bottom of this deck for the overall energy we have the two of cups so I do feel like um, this could be some kind of soul connection here um, I don't want to get any more specific than that because I don't want to say something I don't want to tell you something and it, it not be true okay so I'm not gonna say that this is a twin flame even though this is typically a twin flame card um, and I'm not gonna say that this is like a soulmate or a karmic relationship because I don't know um, but I do think there's some kind of soul connection so make of that what you will um, I I am getting the feeling that someone here has a tendency to hold grudges 
Okay. Um, this over here is your energy. We have the Three of Wands and the Two of Swords. So, I feel like you spend a lot of time dwelling on things that have happened between you and this other person and not really like good things. Okay. Or, actually, I'm just... I just heard something else. Um, you could be really longing for old, the old times that you had with them. Because um, we have this guy who's just looking out over the sea. Um, and he, he looks like he's just really deep in thought, you know, like... He's waiting for his ships to come in or, or whatever. Um, so I feel like that's that's you. You, I feel like you spend a lot of time uh, just looking back, thinking about the good times you had together and the bad times you had together. Um, some of you, I feel like, t focus a lot on the bad times especially. We have this Two of Swords. Um, so this is, like, indecision for me. So, I feel like you want to move on from this person, but you can't. You just can't. Um, you can't stop thinking about them, obviously, that's why you're here. Um, and I feel like part of the reason why they are always on your mind is because there were... I feel like there were some promises between you that uh, were unfulfilled, okay? And I feel like this person could have, oh, okay, so for some of you, this is not going to apply for everyone, but for some of you, I feel like this person, when you were together, really isolated you from other people and I feel like now you don't have a lot of support because you were cut off from from friends and family and so this person was like your main support and now you don't have that and now you're just left very lonely and still isolated from other people um, but like I said, that's just for some of you. I think that's just a specific, small number of people who choose this option. Um, but for everyone else, this is just, you know, you just feel, um, you're, you were hurt. I feel like this person probably is the one who cut you off. Um, and that hurt your feelings and maybe you don't really understand why they did that um, for their energy we have the two of pentacles so this tells me that they are there's something that they are juggling um, I feel like they have a lot going on they have a lot on their plate right now and to have you in their life takes up a large portion of that plate of theirs so maybe that's why they've cut you off right now because they have so many other things to deal with um, I'm, that's not really a, a good reason to ghost somebody or whatever if that's the case but um, for some of you I think that's what's happening okay um, I want to get some more cards about that, actually. Why is this two of pentacles here? There's judgment. Okay. There's the star. Um, yeah. Definitely some kind of soul connection here with the Two of Cups, and Judgment, and the Star. 
this could be, honestly, this could just be something that has to happen. This just could be a separation that is required so that one or both of you can work on yourselves. However, I just want to say that if this is someone who has been, like, toxic towards you or who did isolate you from other people, um, that doesn't mean that you should ever take them back, okay? Because, like, that's kind of shitty behavior, and I can't... I, <laughs> I cannot, um... ever recommend going back to someone like that okay so just throwing that out there but like I said I don't think that applies to a lot of you um yeah okay I feel like your person is um in the they're going through some kind of process that is dictated by the universe so huh Okay, so this card makes a little more sense now. This is the end of a tough cycle approaches. This is full moon in Capricorn. So, um, like I said, there is something going on that is being determined by the universe. It's, um, there's, I, I'm hearing cycle of learning. That's what your person is going through right now, I think. They're in the process of learning some things, learning some life lessons, okay? Um, they are... I feel like their energy is all over the place. They are, like, cleansing, they are purging, they are rebuilding. They, they have a lot going on right now, I think. <laughs> um, but... Here we have the Ten of Wands. So, in this position down here. This is um, what is blocking you from, you know, moving forward from this situation. And I, I honestly feel like for some, for some of you guys, this is just straight up an unwillingness to let it go. Okay. Like I said at the beginning, I feel like some of you are prone to holding grudges. And I really feel like for some of you guys, it's just, it's just a matter of you don't want to let, you don't want to let it go. You don't want to stop thinking about it. You don't want to stop, um, brooding on it. <laughs> okay. Um. And that kind of is confirmed for me by this card. This is Look at the Bigger Picture, Full Moon in Sagittarius. Um, this card is about being stuck on the details. Okay. Um, it's asking you to step back and look at the bigger picture of this situation. Understand that it's not worth um, fretting about. Um, in the booklet, this card, it, it says, the full moon in Sagittarius is a time when we are reminded that life is an adventure and there's a big wide world to see beyond our backyard. So basically this is like, You dwelling on this situation is like you just spending all of your time in your backyard and never venturing out into the rest of the world. Okay, does that make sense? Um, because this situation is like, yeah, even though this probably is a soul connection, it's not like it's not the end of the world. It's not... It doesn't have any bearing on you as a person. It doesn't have to control 
what you do. It doesn't, you know what I mean? Um, you also have It's Time to Take Action, New Moon in Aries. So, I feel like this is really just saying um, you need to get out and have some new experiences. Talk to people. Um, meet new people. Go zip lining. I don't know. That's what they want me to tell you. <laughs> um, I'm going to see if this card or this deck has, whoa, has anything to add. Okay, Reflection and Union came out. So, with these two cards, Reflection is asking you to... These go together. Um, they're both asking you to take a step back and stop focusing so much on the details. And you're being asked here to reflect on what really matters in your life and what you can leave behind and this situation is one that you can leave behind for now um, because we have union uh, I, I feel like the two of you will come back into contact if you're not now um, you might end up getting back together at some point so, there's really no point at all in um, worrying about this situation. So, it's okay to drop your wands. Okay, just leave them on the ground and walk away. It's really okay. You can totally do that. <laughs> okay, Pile 2, um, that's your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If it resonated with your situation, I'd love to hear about that. Um, I really love reading you guys' comments. You always leave me such nice comments. They're really, they always make my day. Um, so, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope I see you next time. And we're going to move on now to the final option. Hi, you guys. Those of you who chose the third option, which was this little stone. Okay. Uh, why can't you stop thinking about your person? Why can't you get them out of your head? Okay, so, um, right away, it's interesting because all of the readings today were kind of similar. Um, I feel like they all have had this energy of um, necessary separation going on. Um, because here, I really feel like um, this situation is happening the way it's happening because it's just how it is meant to be happening. You know what I mean? Um, I, I want to say that there's some kind of divine guidance going on here. Um, for your person's energy, we have the Hermit and the Six of Cups. So, Hermit card tells me that they are um, taking some time out. They're kind of isolating themselves right now. They are thinking things through. They are taking time to figure some things out. And Six of Cups, that tells me that um, they haven't forgotten about you. Okay. Um, if this is somebody that you're not in communication with right now, please know that they still think about you probably just as much as you think about them. Okay? And I feel like the reason that you think about them so much is because you have a lot of love for this person. I'm feeling like... like unconditional love here. Because... So for the for the binding energies, um, we got the tower and the eight of wands. So 
I feel like you know that things are going to come together with this person eventually. It's just a matter of when. And I feel like you're just kind of stuck on the when. Like, you want it to happen. You're waiting for it to happen. Um, you're getting really impatient. Um, and I also pulled out a couple more cards to clarify. We got the Hermit again. So, yeah, somebody... Um, One or both of you are very intuitive, I think, or very spiritual people. And this is like a an opportunity for growth, this situation. Um, also, Six of Pentacles and Ten of Wands. Sorry, Ten of Cups. Um, so, like I said, I feel like the energy that is binding the two of you together is this just this feeling of love you know unconditional love I want I, I keep wanting to say unconditional love and some of you guys might be kind of annoyed with yourselves because you're like man this person doesn't deserve my love um, and that may be true but you love them anyway and I don't know uh, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you about that um, also, we had the Five of Pentacles come out, so there has been some 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 pain here. Um, you probably feel abandoned by this person, or you did in the past. I feel like a lot of you, or some of you, probably have moved beyond that um, feeling now. Um, for the overall energy, we have the Ace of Pentacles, so... Um, Something new is on the horizon. Also, we got the new moon card. A new start is coming. So it can't get much clearer than that. There is a new start coming with this person that you're thinking about. So for the blockages, what is blocking you from uh, moving on from this person or from blocking the situation from making any progress. We have the Nine of Pentacles and Judgment. So Judgment is kind of just confirming for me that there's growing that has to be done right now. Um, but I feel like for most of you, that period of growth is almost over, and this period of new beginnings is almost here. Um, because judgment is also about rebirth, um, renewal. Also, Nine of Pentacles, I feel like um, this is the energy that you should be trying to embody. Okay, this uh, independent, very um, I don't need nobody else kind of energy. Okay, um, the the woman in the Nine of Pentacles is like, her own person, 100%. She makes her own money. She does her own thing. Um, she doesn't worry about nobody else. And I feel like that is the energy that you should be trying to embody. Um, and if you're not, then that is... Like, if you... Obviously, you're, you think about this person a lot. But if you're, like, really stuck on this situation, like, if it's... If it's something that you're thinking about constantly, like, when is this person going to come back, when is something going to happen, then that is also, in part, what is blocking you, okay? Um, we also have look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. Um, option two got this card as well. So, I'm just going to tell you what I told them, because I think it applies here also. You need to take a step back from this situation, because I know you're very emotionally invested, probably. Um, so you need to take a step back and just trust that things will work out the way that they are meant to work out. Okay? Um, the two of you are, are in separation for a reason. Okay? The universe um, is always looking out for you. Okay? So... This person's not in your life right now for a reason. The universe is trying to protect you. Um, 
from from having your heart broken. Because this person over here has a lot of, um, they've been doing a lot of growing. And uh, in the past, nothing would have worked out between you. But because they've had this time to do to do this growing, um, things are looking much more promising in the future. Okay, um, let's see if there's anything else that wants to come out for you guys. Um, I don't know if I said this already, but, oh, hang on, that's too many cards. Um, I don't know if I said this already, but I do feel like this is a soul connection. Um, I think all three readings today have had some uh, some level of soul connection energy here. So that's really interesting. And they've all had this feeling of being divinely guided. <laughs> Surrender. Um, yeah. Enchantment. Interesting. Um, with the surrender card, this is just saying pretty much the same thing as this. Um, step back, take stock of what is really, what really matters right now. You know, what you can be doing, um, for yourself right now. And just you just gotta surrender to divine timing and let the universe work work things out, you know, the way that it, they're meant to be worked out. Um, we also have enchantment. What is this saying? I think that with this card, the universe just wants you to. Um, Allow yourself to see beauty, to see the beauty that is all around you. Okay, this is like, um, I feel like you guys, a lot of you guys who picked this option should try practicing mindfulness. Alright, um, that's, you know, actively, like, living in the moment, you know. Not dwelling on the past, not thinking about the future, but just living in the moment um and that'll help you to uh surrender to divine timing and to get more into this sorry nine of pentacles energy where you can just focus on yourself and what you can be doing for yourself at this time okay so, yeah, this situation is definitely um, divinely guided. Like I said, I feel like all three readings had some, you know, element of that, but this one I feel like is the most out of the three. So, yeah, that's your reading, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. If it resonated with you, please feel free to let me know and leave me a comment. Um... Thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you next time. Um, if you're from a previous pile and you're still here, thanks so much for sticking around. Um, I'm I'm really psyched because I have over 1,200 subscribers now, and that is really exciting to me. I am doing private readings now. You can uh, buy them from my Etsy shop. I have moved over to Etsy. Um, I feel like that's just going to be easier than what I had planned before. Um, so yeah, head on over to my Etsy shop and check out the readings that I offer. Um, all the all the details on you know what I need from you for a personal read will be listed there. And there will be a link to my shop in the description box. Also, if you would like to donate to the channel, um, my PayPal link is in the description. Please only use the PayPal link for donations, okay? Don't pay for readings through PayPal.
any donations I get will go towards improving videos. So like new decks, um, better equipment, stuff like that. I think that's all that I have to say to you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. My voice sounds horrible. I feel like I might be getting sick. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching. I love you so much. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.